Today we're going to do the Montessori seed lessons. Each of the lessons can be done on a different day. We're going to start with the main function of the seed. The seed is the part of the plant that houses the new plant. The baby plant lives in the seed. Not only does the seed house the baby plant, but it also provides it with its first food so the baby plant can live until it's able to make its own food. Now we're going to talk about the parts of the seed. So what I did is I took a bean, I have a kidney bean, that I soaked in water overnight, and we can separate it and we can see the different parts of the seed. So the first thing you'll see is an embryo. Embryo is the baby plant. And there are two parts to embryo. This part is called the radical. It's the part um, that's going to, to grow down and become the root. It's from the Latin word radis, which means root. The radical is going to grow into the root and hold the baby plant into the ground. The top part is called the plumule. And it comes from the Latin word pluma, meaning fine feather. So right there, if we get really close, you can see, okay? And then when we split apart our seed, um, we saw it break into two parts. And cotyledons comes from the Greek word for cup-shaped hollow. And inside of there was the embryo. And protecting the whole part on the outside is the testa, which means shell. So all I did was I took my, my bean and I broke it into the two parts and peeled off the testa. So you can peel it off. The testa just comes right off. And it depends too how long you've soaked it. I think I might have soaked this one too long, but here's our testa. All right, and then we have our cotyledons, which breaks into two pieces. And then inside of there, you can find the baby plant. Oh, this one got all smashed up, but that's okay. All right. So our next part, we're gonna talk about the two different kinds of seeds. So there is a kind of seed that doesn't separate. Okay. And there is a kind of seed that has two cotyledons, and that's called a dicotyledon. So this bean that we dissected, right, we saw here it broke into two parts. Two has dicotyledons. So beans are an example of this. But this seed, this seed cannot be separated. It has only one cotyledon. We call this a monocotyledon. Di means two. And cotyledon means cup-shaped hollow. Mono means one, and cotyledon means cup-shaped hollow. So we have two cup-shaped hollows, or we have one cup-shaped hollow. Okay, another thing that we notice. So when you start to grow your own seeds, you can grow your own plants, you can go out in the garden, and you'll notice that all dicotyledons have veins that are reticulate. Remember when we talked about the different kinds of veins? Well, all monocotyledons have veins that are parallel. Now, the other thing that we can look at, so we grew some seeds here at our house, and we can look at the different kinds of roots. So here we have a tap root. So a dicotyledon has a tap root. Look at how long and straight that taproot is. So this was from our corn. Okay, you can actually see the little corn seed right there. And it has a taproot. Okay, and our monocotyledons. Hmm. This one has fasciculate roots. The roots go all over the place. So now, after we grow our different plants, um, you can dissect them, you can dissect the seeds, you can look at how the different roots um, are growing in the ground. Well, something else that you can do is called simple classification. 
So you can lay this out with two tickets. And after you do some exploring, um, you can do this with real plants or you can do it with the pictures. So we have dicotyledon and we have a ticket that says monocotyledon, okay? So monocotyledons, right? They have the seed that can't be broken up and dicotyledons has the seed that breaks into two parts. Then we have a dicotyledon that has a tap root and we have the monocotyledon with the fasciculate roots. And the monocotyledons have parallel veins on their leaves. And the dicotyledons have reticulate veins. So the last lesson that we're gonna talk about today is seed dispersal. So we have a chart here and you can see the mother plant is getting ready to send off her baby plant. For the plants, it's not like baby animals. The mother animal likes to take care of the baby animal until it grows up and then the animal goes away. It's like that for you and your family. But with the baby plant, it can't settle down by its parents because the parent plant will take all of the light and all of the nutrients and the baby plant won't be able to survive. Because of that, the parent plant has created all kinds of clever ways to send off their seeds. One way that a plant sends their seeds off is by providing a gift of fruit to the animal. When the seed is ready, the fruit will ripen and it will call to the animal with its color and its scent. The animal will take that gift of fruit and if it's a large fruit, it will just eat the whole fruit and drop the seeds somewhere. Well, it might just eat the seeds, but if it's a small fruit, it'll eat the whole thing. And eventually it will deposit those seeds with its own supply of manure. So here is a fruit and inside are the seeds. So the animal will just eat this whole thing and it'll deposit the seeds out. Okay, then there's another plant that its seed takes a ride in the water. Okay. This one goes off through the water. This happens to be a coconut. So coconut drops the whole seed, it floats in the water, lands somewhere else, and then grows into a tree. Then we have a seed that takes the ride on an animal. Okay, it hitchhikes and it sticks to the animal and the animal walks along and eventually it drops off. Okay, sometimes you call them burrs. Get it stuck to my hand. Okay, then we have the kind of seed. We have another plant that when the seeds are ready, the plant just explodes and it sends its seeds all over the place. So here, this one has already exploded and you can see that here's some of the seeds, but the rest of the seeds have already come out. And then there's another kind of seed that makes use of the wind in order to move away from its parent. So we have this one. We also have these ones. Sometimes you call them helicopters. Okay. All right. So we can see that seeds can be sent off in all kinds of different ways. So we have the where the seed goes in through the front door and comes out the back door. That's the fruit, right? We have the seeds that make use of the wind to move around. It's kind of like a parachute. We have a seed that explodes off, right? We have one that travels by water, and then we have one that hitchhikes across. Okay. So that is the seed lesson. You can grow seeds. You can dissect seeds. If you have any kinds of beans, um, green beans, if you have corn, anything that you have, um, you can um, find the baby plant inside. You can look at all the plants outside and try to figure out and classify, are they monocotyledons or dicotyledons?